In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the remainder operator or the modulus operator. For the rest of the tutorial, I'm going to refer to it as the remainder operator because it's so much easier to say. Anyway, what happens when we use the remainder operator is Python performs division and it will re return to us the remainder of that division. Now, we don't see the division, we just get the remainder. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. 98 and then we're going to use the remainder operator, which is the percent sign, and 7. We get 0. All right, well, in this case, 7 goes into 98 evenly. So let's try another one. That was not planned, by the way. 8. We get remainder 2. So how do we get the number 2? Well, let's go ahead and do uh, 98 divided by 8, and we get 12.25. All right. Let's, um, true division really doesn't help us in this case to figure it out. So let's try another one. Let's try 98 floor division, 8, and we get 12. Okay, we're making some ground here. So 12 times 8 is what? 12 times 8 is 96. So 98 minus 96 gives us 2. That's our remainder. That was just a little pr math practice there to see if we could figure out the remainder and make sure it's accurate. Anyhow, um, now that we've seen the remainder operator in action, there's two uh, scenarios that we need to discuss. First one is if we use zero on the left hand side of the remainder operator and whatever number on the right hand side, we're always going to be returned zero. Cool. All right. That makes sense. We can't get the remainder of zero. We can't divide by zero. All right. But what happens if we use a zero on the right hand side? 87 remainder of zero. We're going to get an error. Zero division error. Inter integer division or modulo by zero. We can't do that. All right. So you're going to get an error. So if you're writing a program that uses modulo, um, you need to make sure that you do some kind of error check before you insert a number into there because you're going to get an error in your program. Um, the other example is if we put a smaller number on the left hand side of the remainder operator and a bigger number on the right hand side, well we're always just going to be returned the smaller number. There's no math being performed here, it's just returning us a smaller number. For example, 2 modulo 4, 2, 2 modulo uh, 78 2 alright so that's something else that you need to do a check on in your program just to make sure you don't run into this issue because you always want your math to be precise any questions about the uh, remainder operator or the modulo operator please leave a comment on our form at mastercode.online otherwise we'll see you in the next tutorial when we talk about exponents have a nice day